I'll just give a little definition here. As the chief veterinarian, I'm basically a general practitioner trying to manage a large staff that, you know, the program has evolved over the years. I have to rely on expert, uh, you know, input to make any kind of uh, uh, decisions in my role. And, and so the laboratory has their process, which is, believe me, it's a very complex process. And, um, and so there are a lot of parts to that puzzle. And, uh, and actually we've written up just kind of more of just for practical information a document that shows all these steps and all the part of the process. So, um, you know, this, these, when you look at this one column, these numbers here, those do not indicate a team. Those are just, that's just a numerical sequence of twos. And, um, and so, um, you know, I, I do not know exactly why this blank is here because that's, that's part of what the lab is doing. I do know that there was a note, a handwritten note um, by the mushers. Yes, there's another page here that yeah. shows that. Or by the, I'm sorry, the note was taken by one of the chemists at the lab. And that is what is referred to as a bench note of just noting as part of the testing process. It's a multi-level uh, effort. And there's an initial screening test that goes. And then it can show some spikes. And then there's a further process to try to identify those spikes. So these notes are, are, are things that were substances that were uh, possible suspects in that process but never confirmed as positives, other than tramadol was the only positive test. And like I say, it's a very complex, intricate process that uh, you know, is, is, is uh, much involved. But ultimately, the bottom line is these notes were only part of the initial screening and evaluation, and certainly not the final report and confirmation. The only thing that was confirmed was tramadol. Yeah, in a discussion with the lab and our chief of drug testing, um, you know, we we felt it was important to uh, to take the language that they speak and try and put it in layman's terms. And it's a, I'm glad you asked that question because we've got a document here for you to better understand what this document is as a bench note. And the long and short of it is, while all those drugs were um, initially in the initial screening possibilities uh, as a part of the as a part of the process um, it was uh, it was ruled that they were they were ruled out and they were never present at all so it's it's complex I don't pretend to understand it a hundred percent we're not gonna uh, educate everybody today as, as well as uh, need be and that's why we've got another takeaway for you as well as a you know a nine point explanation of what this document means so hopefully that's that's going to be helpful it's uh, it's a it's a tedious process that uh, one team one positive test that's right exactly. and we only, we only had one positive test one test that was confirmed and that was tramadol